Yo, what's going on? Welcome to the video. If you're new here, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are having a good day. This is episode four of Core Keepers series. Today we are focusing on defeating Gorm the Devourer, and I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's get right into it. All right, so after hours of grinding and getting a bunch of slime, we have finally gotten 84 bombs. So I think we're good to go. I think we're ready for it. We got a little extra bomb peppers if we need to make, but that won't get us a lot of bombs anyways. I got a ton of copper too. All right, so I've lit up a good chunk of this. All we have to do is kind of just get him mad at us and then eventually, if, I think if we get him to half health, he'll start chasing us. So we definitely want to make sure we get him to half health. All right, I think I hear him. Yep, here he comes. Let's eat. Right, he's mad at us now. Half health, nice, that's huge. Wow. They want to stay out of his way. Oh. He's super low. Super low. One shot, one shot, and <laughs> there he goes. All right, so that was the first try. That was super easy. Honestly, I think that's too easy. We got some iron ore, got some golden larva meat, cool. Larva chest, I haven't seen this before. 27 max health, 14 armor, 28 mining damage, uh, five minus 5% five movement speed. And you can see in the um, last video I was talking about this set, uh, you can disguise yourself as a larva. That's super cool. Okay. So you need the larva chest and the helmet. That's super helpful. We got the Gorm's Horn, a pointy gemstone that lets a larva grow way beyond its maximum size. 20 larva meat, Gorm stomach bag. Okay. 12 inventory slots. I think that's better. And Mysterious Idol. I think that's for the uh, NPC, I believe. And then we got the chest. So yeah, that was super easy. Um, just cleared out some slime, if, if you're doing this. Just, just clear out a little bit of slime. Have extra food so you can run fast. And then just bombs, man. You saw how quickly the bombs got him down to half health. I think I used 10 bombs, maybe. This thing is a lot better than um, my bronze plus breastplate. Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> it looks, looks kind of funny, but we need the helmet. Now I gotta figure out how to get that. So yeah, let's, ha oh yeah, let's check this out too. Cause there's two extra slots, cool. All right, so definitely worth it. Let's go back to the base now. We're gonna put the mysterious idol into our base and then we'll figure out where we're doing next. All right, and here we are back at our base. Let's put that right there. I do wish I could see it though. Um, I guess we'll put it right here. Hopefully that works. I want to see if this guy's upgraded yet. Doesn't look like it. But eventually you can see all these open slots here. I think, I don't know if you have to beat the third boss for him to upgrade or what. Um, but eventually he'll sell like valuable food I know on this row I believe. Oh, I, com I completely forgot about the, um, the upgrade over here. Let's put this in here, see what we get. Alright, Carapace Helm, I hope that's how you say it. 17 max armor, 10 armor, or health, 
10 armor, 6% explosive damage. Could honestly make these right now. 9, 10, 4 lava, 6 slime, 5 fiber. I think we can make them if we have enough tin. 27 max health, 15 armor. So it's, it's not better than the chest plate, I believe. But actually, it might be... Oh, it's actually better. Other than the, we don't get as much mining damage. But we do get explosive damage, so... I think we'll definitely make some of those too. And then we got the recall idol. This is what I'm most excited for. Teleports you back to the core. So, you can make these. They're pretty cheap too. Ancient gemstone and mechanical parts. We have a bunch of those. And we're, we're gonna get more later on in the video. But it just teleports you right back here. So, if I were all the way over here, I wouldn't have to take like five minutes walking back. So, definitely glad we got that. All right. Now, I think. Oh, here's our uh, second NPC here. This guy sells some bread, iron chunk necklace, and a flintlock musket. This thing's definitely better than at least the slingshot. I think this is decent for some mining damage. We want to do a little bit of mining. But yeah, 165 to 201 range damage. Super good. This is just the summoning stuff so that we can summon the bosses again if we want to beat them and far um, farm them. So yeah, we definitely want to get that armor and then get enough money to buy this musket. So let's get all that stuff together. All right, we should have, yep. So we can see here, this is another two set. It says 24.3% damage for a short duration after mining a wall. So that's super helpful. Can put that on, we can sell that. And we should have enough to buy this musket too. So let's go talk to this guy. Yo, how's it going, man? Let me buy this off you on your necklace. We're gonna buy this though. 12 plus armor though. But it I don't think it's as good as our heartberry necklace. Definitely want some regenerating health too. So I think we're gonna keep it with this for now. Alright, we can sell this. Wow, that wasn't really that much, but Alright, one thing I wanna do is try and get some potions. So we need slime and heartberry. I don't think we have a lot of that. You can look though. We actually have a good amount. We can make ten or so po ten or more potions. Let's see. All right, ten potions. Yeah. So we use these when like we're super low and we need them. All right. I went ahead and replanted the farm. I want to go into the stone biome for just two things. I'm not going to go in it fully. Just give you guys a preview before we end the episode here. But I do want two things before we end the episode. So we're going to head over there. Alright. Let's cross on over here. So, if you remember after making the farm... I said I wanted some wells, and they're over here in the stone biome, so we're going to go searching for them. Okay, you can see how uh, slow this is to break. So yeah, I'm not going to force you guys to watch this, so I'll see you when I uh, find the wells. Let's break this wall here. Take these guys on. So it takes a bit to kill him. You can see he did a ton of damage to me there. But it looks like we did not find what I was looking for. So we'll go back to mining. All right, my pickaxe broke. So now is a good time to go and repair this. We did not find much. So we definitely want to upgrade my pickaxe as soon as I can probably next episode but 
We'll use this recall, I'll show you how this works. And boom, here we are. So yeah, it's super cool, super helpful. But yeah, let me uh, repair this pickaxe and then we'll get back to mining. Oh, I didn't even notice. Ring of Rock. I don't even know when we got this. I think we just picked it up or something from mining. Simple ring found in the deepest of rocks. Okay. 13 plus armor. That's helpful. Two set. All right. Ring of Stone is what we need to get 49 mining damage. That's cool. All right, looks like we have found the other side of the ring. We have this guy who shoots fire at us. Oh, he hit me there. Did some pretty good damage. That's weird, I picked up another brown Easter egg. Even though I thought those were uh, out of the game, but apparently not. All right, we may have found an area that I'm looking for. Nope, doesn't look like it. Got you baited. All right, found some stuff here. Also, one of the uh, cavelings gave us another Tim pickaxe. That was nice of him. We did kill him, but still nice of him. Got a lot of sand here surrounded by nice. Look at all this iron here pick all this iron up. I wasn't really planning on going mining. But it's fine, you know, if we get free iron kind of like that, where it's just in the sand, I'll take it. Let's go down over here. Got some crates here. Let's see if we can get some good loot from them. Probably take these rails too, cause why not? Got a gold deposit here, that's cool. Got a mine cart. Give me the loot. Peasant chest, okay. Nothing good. It's all right though. All right, we got a lot of guys here with us. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We don't wanna fight all of them. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, never mind. You can see that big guy there. Oh, okay. We got a sweat here. Shoot these guys. Oh, never mind. He matched us. Oh, he hit us through the wall. Excuse me. All right, let's dig over here. We gotta watch out for this big dude here. I think he can break through the wall. So we just gotta be careful here. Oh, he's coming through. I think he takes like four hits or something with this. Yeah, okay. Any good loot? We got some iron. Take it. These are the uh, care rocks too. Um, we got some seeds, so that's cool. We got some loot over there. Oh, is this a maze? This is a maze, okay. All right, I don't wanna go in there right now until I have iron. But we'll definitely come back in there. We can't break through the walls either. There's a lot of guys in there, so we definitely wanna do this next episode.
All right, we did not find what I was looking for, but that's all right. We got uh, 26 iron ore, four crystal shards, some brown Easter eggs, even though I thought they took them out of the game, but I guess not. Uh, and then we got some new food, Karak. We got some seeds for that. But with that, that'll end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, I think we're going to go and try and get all iron. And then we'll do a little bit more mining. Just so it's quicker. And we can do some more damage. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like. If you guys have any feedback, hit me with it in the comments. I got some stuff going on next week. So there won't be any videos on Wednesday or Friday. But the week after that, we'll go back to videos. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.